today we're going to be talking about something that's unusual, which is a, a fracture of the clivus. And this word clivus means slope. And so, as you know, the sixth nerve um, is at the caudal pons. It has to exit the root exit zone and then climb up this clivus, clivus and uh, make a bend here at the petroclival ligament to enter the cavernous sinus. And so the sixth nerve is susceptible to increased intracranial pressure as a non-localizing finding, but also it can be damaged from diseases of the clivus, and in this case, a clival fracture. So a clival fracture is uncommon, but when you have the anterior, the middle, and the uh, posterior fossa, the, the fracture, even though this force is felt from the side because they hit their head on the side, the force wave is transmitted down to the clivus and so we get temporal bone fractures or in the midline longitudinal or transverse fractures in the clivus. And because the cranial nerve number six is the only nerve on the clivus, it often presents with a unilateral or bilateral six nerve pulse. If it's more lateral towards the petrous apex and the internal auditory canal, then you might have concomitant cranial nerve seven or cranial nerve eight palsies. So the combination of six, seven, eight normally localizes to that cerebellopontine angle. And in fractures, we're going to be thinking about across the skull base temporal bone fractures. If it's just the sixth, the clival fracture. And the reason it's important is the clivus fracture requires a lot of force to generate a clival fracture because look how deep this bone is. In fact, it's in the midline. It's, it's the deepest bone in your skull. And so when you have that, it really is a sign that you are, have been in a high-speed motor vehicle accident or you were hit by a car, a peds motor vehicle accident, or you fell from a high distance or some other high-velocity type of, of injury. So it's often a severe injury. And if you look at clivus fractures, about 25% of the people just die. So it's a predictor of mortality rate. So it's a very bad sign. And so surviving a clival fracture is actually an amazing thing by itself. You should be thinking about six nerves in that setting. And the more lateral it is, six, seven, and eight.